Uh, my name is Matt Webster from Criterion Games and I'm a senior producer. We asked, <laughs> simple, simply, we just said, hey, you know, times were, timing was perfect, and we said, hey, um, how about we have a chance of doing this, you know, we fancy having a go at Need for Speed, and um, said, yeah, okay, <laughs> we were like, oh, okay, because it's, you know, it's a big deal, it's a big deal, and um, yeah, so it just came about through asking, really, being a bit cheeky. I think I assume when we were talking about it, it's, um, we've grown up with it, you know, I've certainly have and I know a lot of the people here at Criterion we've always been fans of Need for Speed games and you know it's like I said it's the, it's the world's biggest driving franchise and it's a big deal and so um, and, I, and I think what, what's been amazing is it's always been a you know from the very first game through to Hot Pursuits and then through Underground and, and Carbon and Most Wanted and, uh, and Pro Street and Shift it's been a, a, a set of games that are very much have been of of a particular time, and um, and that's fantastic because it, it's we've got a real broad creative available to it, you know. So um, you know when when we came to look at it, it was this is Criterion's take on Need for Speed. What did we want to do? What you know? It was a very much a very uh, open sort of creative uh, freedom that we had with it. Are you ever apprehensive about working on a franchise that's kind of lost its way in the past five years? It's been jumped around from kind of different genres and different ideas and, yeah. and it never, I mean, Most Wanted was probably the last time it really was like what you guys are doing here. I mean, are you kind of apprehensive? I'm not sure it's a case of losing its way. I think it's, it's, able to, it's able to exist in many different styles. So the very first game was incredibly different from Underground, which was quite different from Most Wanted and then Pro Street. So I, I think that what was appealing for us is it's 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 Need for Speed and you know it's real cars and what did we want to do with it? Well, okay, we wanted to take it back to we. What would we do with it? You know, you always dream about it. if we were making this particular games. What would we do? It's just now we've been able to actually do that. So um, no, I think I think that you know we we're, were desperate to have a go at it. It's difficult for you guys to transition from burnout and to Need for Speed. I mean, is there anything you had to do mindset-wise where you had to take the gameplay a different way? And because obviously the handling's quite very similar, it seems to be a lot more, like you're saying, sturdy because they're licensed cars. I mean, did, did you have to kind of get yourself into a different mindset? Oh, certainly. I mean, you, you are, you're doing something completely different. With Burnout, we make it up as we go along. You know, we've got, you know, it's, yeah, okay, we'll get a car, barrel roll a car, yeah, okay. Uh, so there are some different restrictions or constraints but you've, you've got that with every game that you make you've got you know technical constraints or creative constraints or you know you have to constrain yourself to be able to sort of you know decide on a direction that you want to that you want to go towards so I think that what you'll see is the you know the I suppose it's the criterion DNA we want to be able to favor the player we want to make it accessible we want to give people a good time um, as quickly as possible, have simple to understand systems inside the game, uh, clearly you know, tell people what they have to do to progress, make it very easy for them to understand and deliver you know, great fun and great action. So um, that was coming with us and that would, that would be with us, you know, any game we're making, make it you know, easy, favour the player, highly connected, great action great fun that would be any game that we make um, so whilst you say that the handling kind of feels like burnout it's actually it's actually quite different if you go back and based on what you've played today and, and, and then play burnout you'll notice a massive difference um, but the principle remains the same so we want players to be able to grab the pad and drift the car around the corner 120 miles an hour the big smile on their face inside a few minutes that principle remains the same but you've also got the depth of the handling to be able to take seconds and then tenths and hundreds of seconds off your, off your best time so easy to pick up and, and, and it's got that depth for, for you to be able to master. Which Need for Speed did you look at as kind of the biggest inspiration for the direction you wanted to take with the new hot pursuit? I started at the very first one, the very first one so um, it was Road and Track presents Need for Speed and, you know I remember driving up Black Testarossa you know with a cop behind me down the coast down these sweeping roads and yeah, we were always going to start there, always. Um, but I think obviously you can't. I think my, you know, one of my personal favourites recently is um, is Most Wanted, the original. Well, actually, Hot Pursuit Two is a standout moment. I think in the for the PlayStation Two era. Um, yeah, so it, there's an incredible rich history there. Um, 
for us to be able to sort of be a part of. It's got, you know, it has got a bit of a character of itself. And so whilst we've got, we're bringing what we're bringing Criterion to Need for Speed, and this is certainly Criterion's take on Need for Speed, it's still very much a Need for Speed game. Burnout was always a risk, risk and reward type game, and, and it's you know there's nothing simpler than that, and it's you know there's nothing with a bigger payoff really. So, yeah, there's you know there's a there's a, uh, a huge amount of alternate routes and uh, and shortcuts. Some of the bigger shortcuts do have an element of risk reward to it. So you know you've got to know where you're going, um, you know, and then the whole you know the whole way that you you, know, you get ahead in terms of um, you know the racing, you know, slipstream is staying close, you know, you're behind a car in front of you if it you know pulls aside, you've got a traffic car coming towards you, you've you got a bit of risk going on there. So, yeah, those principles will, you know, we, we carry forward and, you know, I think that, we, you know, things that we would have shared from previous Need for Speed games. Well, races, um, races have uh, time trials, which is uh, you versus a clock. Uh, they have races um, through any number of um, different race, uh, number of uh, race opponents. Uh, and then they have hot pursuits, which are events where the police get involved. Um, uh, and they're solo, so they're, they're, they're events that you're playing inside the solo progression of the game. Cops have um, rapid responses, kind of their version of time trials, but if you hit traffic or hit the wall, you're going to take some time penalties. Um, hop shoots as well, which is um, a similar game. You've got to shut the races down, so it's the similar game mode, but from a different perspective. Um, it's quite simple, but quite a, a, you know, quite, a, quite a big difference between racing and chasing. Um, and then online we talk about um, uh, straight races up to eight players uh, racing up to eight players in hot pursuits but any configuration of cops 1v7 7v1 4v4 whatever you want to make it and then um, interceptors which are 1v1 full fully open um, uh, pursuits so if you want to you know try and come after me then uh, in, a, in an interceptor then we've got the whole world at your disposal and that's quite that's great because you know when you're online you know we could be at night i can turn my lights off i can park the car up and hide if i get far enough away because you can dupe humans not really an experience you've had before um, in any game i don't think where you've been able to sort of park up and hide you know from a, a real human cop it's a, it's a pretty fun dynamic yeah rain and snow um uh you know the mists and the overcast and then the bright sunny days and you know it's all these Things that you know that, that you you'd expect to see, you know, really makes the uh, and the dynamic time of day, of course. So um, it always makes that makes the experience feel very different. Need for Speed Shift Two is kind of leaked that's coming out next year. I mean, does that kind of take the focus away from where you guys are trying to take the franchise, or do you, do you think it's a franchise that just kind of evolves and yeah, uh, yeah, it does. It evolves. I mean, well, it's it's so broad, it's so large that it can support. You know, shift is clearly motorsport. <laughs> You're not going to be racing and chasing with cop cars in in shift. It's you know dramatically different. So. Um, that's, it's quite amazing. I think I think it's you know that's one of the strengths of you know of Need for Speed is it can support so many different creative executions. Gonna support it after with like DLC and stuff. Yeah, we'll talk about that. I mean, yeah, we're known for we're known for doing a, a chunk of work on Burnout Paradise, and that and that that taught us an awful lot. Um, we'll talk about uh, what what uh, that might hold for Need for Speed at the, you know, in, in the weeks to come. Returning to burnout after that, that's obviously, is that on your radar or are you kind of, you need to speed now? <laughs> Uh, I love it. As I said before, whenever we're doing burnout, yeah, everyone, when are you guys going to do Need for Speed? Now we're doing these, when are you guys going to do burnout again? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're a small team. Right now, it's just, we've got to finish, you know, the next instalment of the world's largest driving franchise.